Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for Beer 30 O'Clock. Folks, this is a journey, a journey that we are going to engage in together to find that perfect beer. I am a man on a mission, a man on a journey to find the ultimate beer, the perfect beer for that perfect occasion. And we're gonna do it together. I've got a crazy cast of characters, folks from all over the KOE Nation and all over the internet that are looking forward to sharing their experiences of some of their favorite beers with you. So folks, without further ado, let's get right into this beer 30 o'clock review. Let's do it. I hate IPAs. This is awful. <laughs> All right, so we got West O six foot six Indian Pale Ale. So this comes out of uh, Okaboji, Iowa, uh, around Spirit Lake, Iowa, north of the state. Um, they do uh, a, a several different lines uh, with lagers and ales. I've had a few of their other uh, other things, so I figured if I'm going to try an IPA tonight, I'm going to go with a, a trusted local uh, source here. Now, I'm not a fan of IPAs. They're usually way too hoppy. The ABVs specifically uh, uh, super high. Um, the reason ABVs are typically high with an IPA, it goes back to the name of Indian Pale Ale. So what they did in England when they were trying to ship beer to India, which was one of their main uh, exporters at the time, they would over hop it and and uh increase the abv volume and and the amount of hops in there what this did is it allowed it to travel a much longer time um and and retain not only its flavor its profile but the alcohol content in itself so that's why today ipas are now you see double ipas triple ipas um and it's just a contest to see uh, how strong or high how high of an ABV you can get. Um, and then there's also, what is it, Snake Bite, I think is the name, or Snake Venom or something like that, um, is the highest alcohol content beer. I believe it's a, a type of IPA. It is 60-some uh, percent alcohol volume uh, in a beer, which is fucking insane. I don't know why you'd want that in a beer. That all said... Let's have a have a sip. I hate IPA so much. It smells good. Smells citrusy. I can smell the hops on top of it, which of course the hops are citrusy and, and smell the way they are. So here we go. Mm. Okay, not bad as an IPA. I'm glad I picked these guys. They're gonna get a favorable rating on it as an IPA. Um, as a beer. It's still an IPA. It's still way too hoppy. It's imbalanced. It leaves that weird, bitter, dry aftertaste um, that I absolutely hate with a beer because it doesn't pair with anything. It doesn't quench your thirst. It's not good when you're fishing. It's not good when you're eating. There's nothing about an IPA that it's worth pairing to anything, in my opinion. However, this one does taste really good. Um, it's not overwhelming with the hoppiness. So as an IPA, I'm going to rate it as a four. But I hate APA, so as a beer, I'm going to rate it as like a two, 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 five. Yes. Two, two, five right. as a beer. Um, but as an IPA, it is very, very good. So well done. West O uh, Brewery in uh, in northern Iowa. Okaboji. Lake Okaboji. That's a great place to go, by the way, to vacation. Uh, Tony, <laughs> Promise to refabricate you. Raging rivers of gold. That's what the brochure advertised. And now we're lost. We gotta take it down. Let you get slow. It's hard to survive. El Dorado. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see how that one went. Yeah, 